Hi, everyone. Hello there. Uh, Ramon Roman is in here, product manager, Red Hat maintainer at the Conveyor project. I'm Juan Manuel Lefle de Estrada, uh, senior software engineer at uh, Red Hat and also a contributor to the Conveyor project. And yeah, you might have guessed it, but we are going to be talking about the Conveyor project. So what is Conveyor? Uh, Conveyor is an open source project to help organizations with the onboarding of their traditional workloads into Kubernetes to leverage uh, cloud native technologies. And uh, our approach to that is to provide uh, as much insight as possible for the migration and modernization leads to make informed decisions. And on the other hand, for the developers that are performing the actual changes, provide some uh, guidance and some degree of automation. The way our project is a structure, we have a central piece, which is the uh, conveyor half, which manages the user experience. And then we have a series of other modules that uh, provide uh, additional functionalities. We'll go through them. Uh, first of all, we have portfolio management to allow organizations have a holistic view of their application portfolio uh, to categorize applications and make decisions and find suitable migration uh, strategies for each one of those uh, applications. Then we have the assessment modules to add uh, module to have a high level understanding of the application landscape and detect uh, risks that might uh, affect the containerization process. Then we have the analysis module that uh, is able to find uh, source code anti-patterns that might prevent an application uh, from running on the target platform and provide some hints on how to solve those problems. Uh, we have a planning module that allows you to break the modernization initiative into different migration waves. The reporting module that uh, allows you to get further insight on issues and dependencies. And finally, we have the code transformation module that uh, provides um, uh, a way to automate simple and tedious changes across the, uh, the portfolio. I'd say the most exciting one will be the uh, analysis module. So Juan Mahir will tell you a little bit more about that. So uh, in our latest uh, conveyor release, uh, which we did a couple of months ago, uh, 0.3, we included a new analysis engine. Um, is everyone here aware of the language server protocol, language servers? Uh, so code. yeah, so uh, we basically in our new engine uh, leverage the power of the language server protocol that Microsoft developed for, for VS Code to be able to handle different languages and uh, use that to abstract our engine, our analysis engine, away from the complexities and peculiarities of, of uh, each language. Um, so the idea is um, that, since as you might be aware of, there are uh, language server implementations for almost every language out there. So our idea is to keep adding uh, new language, new providers to, to for, for analysis, to be able to analyze applications in different, in more languages, and uh, to basically uh, make queries to the language servers that will allow us to um, get insights on the application the codes of the applications. So in our latest release, um, we have support for Java and Go, and uh, there are more to come. So as I said, in our latest release, uh, 0 0.3, which we did a couple of months ago, um, the, it was a, a major leap forward. Um, it, it included, apart from this new analysis engine that I just mentioned, um, yeah, the concept of archetypes, it's a new concept for, for organizing your applications, um, a re-implementation of the, the assessment module that Ramon just mentioned before, and, um, and what is it? additional enhanced reporting, sorry about that. Um, and uh, for 04 and 05, which are our next releases in Q2 and Q3, we basically plan on adding new languages, as I said. So uh, we're expecting in Q2 to have uh, .NET and uh, Python support, uh, alongside some quality of life improvements. Um, and also in uh, Q3, uh, we'll have TypeScript support. Um, on Q1 next year, uh, we plan on releasing uh, Conveyor 1.0, uh, which will come with uh, three big new features. Um, one of them is platform awareness, also assets generation, and uh, integration with generative AI, which we'll with speak about in a, in a second. So the first of these three uh, major features will be platform awareness, which will 
basically be able to inspect not just the application itself, but also uh, its runtime, its deployment, uh, and its runtime to be able to extract more information about the application and not just the application, but where it runs. Uh, and this leads us to the next feature for Conveyor 1.0. And the next feature will be asset generation. So we retrieve the configuration from the platforms in which the application is running, and we use that to generate assets to get the application deployed in the target platform, for example, Kubernetes. So if we were talking about an application to deploy in Kubernetes, we will have something that will generate all the deployment uh, manifests for the application. But for example, if the application is running on a uh, application server, we will also be able to generate all the configuration files for the application to be deployed on the target platform. So Pretty, uh, pretty interesting. And I would say everyone is playing with uh, Gen AI. We are playing with that as well. Uh, this next module, Kai, which is the short for conveyor AI, we short, uh, we suck at naming. Um, the idea is to automate source code transformation as much as possible uh, by leveraging generative AI. And our approach to Kai is to uh, leverage the structure migration data that we have at Conveyor and use that to enhance commercial LLMs. So the idea is to use prompt engineering and a RAC approach to that to provide additional context to make these LLMs more accurate on their responses, especially when we're talking about custom technologies, custom frameworks, adding that additional context for the LLM to be accurate on the uh, responses. And that's all we have for today. You have our coordinates in, in there. It will be a Thursday afternoon, Friday morning at the um, CNCF Pavilion. You have uh, our, uh, the QR to our website. And if you want to get involved, we have a, uh, a room at the conveyor, uh, sorry, at the uh, Kubernetes uh, Slack instance mailing list. Just come and join us and tell us what your pains are with modernization and migration. Thank you so much. Thank you.